In this video, I want to show you a really simple setup for sending emails in Flask. So first, I have this very simple Flask app setup. It doesn't do anything other than have an index route. And to send emails, I need to start by installing a library called Flask Mailman. Once it's installed, I can go ahead and import the main class from the library. So from Flask Mailman, I want to import the mail class. And then outside of the create app function, I can just create an object that comes from instantiating mail. And then inside of create app, I can do mail.init app and then pass the Flask app. So that sets up the extension. In addition to setting up the extension, I need to add some configuration because I'm going to be sending emails through some kind of email provider. So in my case, it's Fastmail, but you could be using Gmail or some other service. So what I'll do is I'll add the configuration here on app.config. And the configuration I want is a mail server. So I'll just leave that blank. I'll also need a mail port. I'll need a mail username, mail username. I need a mail password. I need a mail use TLS. And I need a mail use SSL. So now where do you get all this information? So you would get this from the service you use for emails. So for me, it's Fastmail. So I'll go over to my Fastmail account and I'll create a new password for this. So what I wanna do is I wanna select custom. And of course this will vary uh, depending on what email service you use. And I'll call this uh, mailman example. And I want to select SMTP. So that's the protocol that's used to send emails. And I'll generate a password and I'll just copy my password here and put it in the password part. And then for the username, it's going to be support at prettyprinter.com. That's the email I have this set up on. Uh, for the server and the port, I need to go to the docs here. So I'll click on this docs link and every email provider is gonna have something similar. For this, I'm going to the other app section, click on server names and ports. And then here, I'll go down to the SMTP section and I'll copy in the information. So the server is this smtp.fastmail.com. The port is 465. And then it says SSL TLS. It says enabled but not start TLS. So normally that means that the use SSL should be true and the TLS will be false. So oftentimes you have to experiment with these values. Try one is true and the other is false. If it doesn't work, switch them around. Uh, but usually you have to experiment if the docs aren't clear. But I believe in this case it is use SSL and not use TLS. So once you have this set up, you can send emails pretty easily. You want to import a class called email message from the same library. So from Flask Mailman, import email message. And then inside of any of your routes, you'll be able to send emails. So what I'll do is I'll create a message. I'll call this MSG short for message. And then I'll use the email message class. And the first argument will be the title. So here, here's the title or the subject of the email. Uh, here's the body of the email. So of course this email doesn't have anything special. I have the from address. So this is from support at prettyprinter.com, the same as my username. And then I need to give a list of addresses that I'm going to send to. So I'm going to send to anthony at prettyprinter.com and just make sure that this is a list. So the first one is the subject or the title of the email. The second is the body of the email. Third is the from address and the fourth are all the recipients. So there are other things I can do. I can add like blind copies or regular copies. I can add headers. I can add a reply to email, but this is the, the basic stuff that you need to send any email. And then after you create this object, you can simply do message.send and it will send your email. So let's just take a look at this. I'll start up my app and then I'll just go to localhost 5000, which is the index and it should send my email. So we see send email here. And now if I look at my inbox, we see 
from support, body of email, and then here's the title. So the email was sent successfully. You may have noticed that it's a little slow, so I recommend putting something like this in a thread or celery, but if you're not familiar with those things, uh, this is just fine for uh, starting off in an app. You can always move this to another place later, but this is what you need to send emails in a flask. So that's all I want to show you in this video, something really simple. Um, I know there are other libraries out there for this, but I think Flask Mailman is the best to use today. Uh, maybe it was a different library in the past, but Flask Mailman is probably the best to use today if you want to send emails in Flask. So if you have any questions about this, feel free to leave a comment down below. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you have subscribed to my channel already, please subscribe. So thank you for watching and I will talk to you next time.